thank you all for being here and thank you for being willing to stand up and speak up for what's right. Each of us here are part of an industry that has always put health and safety first. When asked to close to help fight the pandemic, we closed. When given restrictions on opening, we abided. We cleaned, we socially distanced, we masked, we put our businesses in financial jeopardy following all the protocols that were put in place for us. We are an industry that did what we could, when we could, because we knew that sports and fitness and movement and exercise was a crucial part of keeping the state of Washington mentally and physically strong. As the owner of Emerald City Gymnastics Academy in Redmond, I am like most of you. I do not understand why our industry has become invisible. Science has proved that gyms are not super spreaders. Science has proved that our businesses have not spread this virus. And our communities have begged for our facilities to be open to combat not only this pandemic, but the rise in depression, anxiety, and suicides amongst our youth. We have tried to reason with Governor Inslee. We have explained the loss our industry is experiencing. We have businesses closing permanently, careers ending, scholarships lost, years and years of training undone. Sadly, it seems like no one cares. I entered this business 15 years ago. I have always done things for the right reason and I have always pledged to do right by the kids and the communities I serve. I am glad the malls are open. I'm glad the hair salons and nail salons are open. I'm glad you can pick up your favorite food or even go get a tattoo. What I don't understand is what makes our clientele, our businesses, our children not worth saving. Nine months ago, I closed my business because that is what you asked of me. Today, I gather with you all to question when we became non-essential. I may lose everything I have ever worked for, but I never want the athletes of my industry to think they aren't worth fighting for. Today, we will hear from speakers from so many sports and speakers of all ages. They speak on behalf of the thousands and thousands of youth here in Washington and the thousands of facilities that have been closed with no consideration to how we were assisting in the fight against COVID-19. In the end of the day, our hope is that those making decisions will use facts and reasoning to do right by us all. Our kids deserve to train because our kids deserve to stay healthy. Our kids deserve to pursue their dreams. Our kids deserve to be heard and more than anything, our kids and our businesses deserve to be deemed essential. This shutdown is killing our businesses. We cannot stay silent anymore. This shutdown of the sports and fitness industry is damaging the children of Washington State. If Governor Inslee and our elected official truly care about all of us, they would understand that we are not asking for special treatment, we're asking for an even application of the rules. Currently, a college athlete at the age of 18 can train. They can even train in my facility, but a 17-year-old high schooler cannot. Again, all we want is a fair and an even application to the rules. With the current mandates, my kids and my businesses, as like all of yours, are just being set up to fail. How could anyone expect us to stay silent any longer?